Northern Christian clergy to hold one million man prayer rally for Tenembo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Some prominent Christian clerics from the North have announced plans to hold a one million man prayer rally for the presidential aspiration of former Lagos State Governor Bola Tenembo. The group led by renowned preacher Bishop Sunday Garuba said the move is divine and instruction from above which must be followed to the letter. Ahead of the next year presidential election, the All Progressive Congress national leader has continued to gather momentum in his quest to succeed President Buhari. However, in a statement on Tuesday, Bishop Garoba stated that Tinubu's ambition may ultimately collapse if not given the necessary scriptural support. On the surface, the respected preacher said the former Lagos governor has all it takes to transform the country. According to him, Tenable will hit the ground running immediately as he is experienced, skilled, and vast in knowledge. He added that the APC stalwart is well accepted and have demonstrated capacity over the years. But Garaba said, over the years, but Garaba said Tenable's quest could not be hampered by evil forces who do not mean well for the nation. Hence, the need for the one-day spiritual exercise. Quoting the book of First Samuel chapter 16, verse 1, Karaba urged Nigeria to quit the blame game and support the aspiration of Tenembo. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king of Israel? Fill your oil with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have selected a king for myself among his sons, he said. According to him, Buhari has done his part, noting that it is time for a new oil, which Tenembo brings. In less than one year, a new president will emerge to forge a new course for the nation. After over three months of immense prayer and fast, it has been revealed to us that Bola Ahmed Tenembo is our next leader. God has never failed. He keeps his promises and honors his words more than his name. We are more than confident that Asiwaji will triumph, but this can only be possible if we intercede and supplicate on his behalf. We all know the physical is controlled by the spiritual. For this reason, we have taken it upon ourselves to hold a groundbreaking prayer rally. When we gather, we will join forces of the fight's aspiration for the good of a nation. On behalf of other God generals, I invite all one million Nigerians to join this movement. I assure you that this is for the good and progress of our nation. God bless you. <laughs> now, well... Somebody is saying, mm, good day to you, citizens of Nigeria. This one is looking for something to enter his pocket. You people that call yourself men of God should stop deceiving the children of God. What with the number of our Nigerians? He's a selfish leader that believes in touting. What he did in Lagos State than turning Lagos to his personal property. He's doing the harm. He's doing more harm than good. By his grace, the number will not be president of Nigeria. Cheers, good citizen of Nigeria. Somebody is saying, thank you, by the grace of God. We don't need people like him. Oshie. <laughs> hey. Such a clergyman is an unfortunate fellow. Anyways, he must be one of the selfish made clergymen, ministering for filthy lucrative sake. A lot of people are going to someone. Please, sir, man of God, when and when is the rally going to take place? Is my name. Okay, I want to identify with the group, sir. <laughs> hey, Wahala. They have collected their own brand envelope. They should rally in Borno State or Ness and Bisa Forest where there's enough space. Imagine praying for the enemy of your faith to be president. Ask these Pharisees what was the sustainable position when Boko Haram were burning their churches. <sighs> There is no such group in the north. Maybe groups of bandits and kidnappers in the north are the ones showing their support. They should start from Kano to Kwastina and then to Sokoto. <laughs> God's grace is complete and tenable. No doubt is like it's hard to find in political terrain of this nation. Everybody is allowed entitled to their own opinion. Let me say this. You are entitled to your own opinion. Nobody will come and tell you otherwise. But my own is, if you want to come out and say, if you want to come out and say, oh, this is how things should be, eh? 
in Nigeria. Just give space for where other people, other people that have an opinion contrary to yours will also come in. Everybody is entitled to the opinion. It is not everyone that will buy this your idea. It is not everyone that will buy this idea. People have their own different opinion. Some of them don't like, they don't want um, Zagaban to be president, not even because of himself. Some of them, they have their other reasons, which are not even personal. Some of the people coming out to say these things, some things about him, truth is, some of them do not even know him personally at all. As well as some people who are coming to cheer for him also, as well, they don't also know him personally. Which prayer did you pray for Little Bacha? And he even did so much well than this, than this Tunubu. <laughs> My God. Our uh, people will never learn. They are busy rooting for another rotten apple that will nail the coping of our dear country. God will not answer your evil prayers, bunch of hypocrites. Well, who are we? We are electors of Nigeria. I've told I've told you people. Let us take this destiny into our hands. How are we going to do that? We will ensure we vote for the competent person. Look, at this point now I'm saying, even if the competent person come from anywhere, if the person com competent person come from APC, PDP, whatever, YPP, I am going to vote for the person, notwithstanding the party. Sincerely, I will vote for the person. But it is going to be difficult to Especially if, let's say, for instance, somebody is competent and is coming to is coming from a party that we know that this party has failed us, there's going to be a problem. Imagine somebody, you know, imagine that kind of a situation. It is going to be very difficult. You keep asking yourself, how do you go and vote for this particular party? And then you tell yourself, okay, but this person here is going to be different. You know, that kind of a thing. Best news of 2022, Tunubu, you, you are destined as the one who will, who will lead us to the promised land. <laughs> Somebody said you will lead your generation to some, some visa for us. People should leave me alone, please. People should leave me alone. May the Holy Spirit abide with you to the end of your life. Kindly tell us the date so that I can join you in the spirit. Will she? At the end of the day, Nigerians, we don't even need all this. What we need is to get our PVC ready and vote for the competent person so that Nigeria is going to be a better place for all of us. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news to say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.